Good morning, guys. I hope you're all well and welcome to Pinterest Cross Sunday. It's an amazing day today because we remember what happened in the Bible with the disciples. Ladies and gents, I, I really do get excited when I speak about Pentecost because it's an amazing day. Yes, it's the seventh Sunday after Easter. It's after Jesus ascended to heaven and it's before and it's the day when the Holy Spirit came down to earth. And it was an amazing and exciting time, but it was also an uncertain time during those times. We know that there was a, a Jewish festival on, I think it's called Shav uh, Shavuot. Uh, I, I might be saying it wrong. Uh, I please do uh, ask for forgiveness. Uh, but guys, when we understand the, the whole Pentecost, we understand what, what God has done for us. It's another gift he, he has given us. He gave us Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. That proves how much he loves us. Actually, it proves the abundance of his love. Not only that, when we look at Pentecost, Christ says, listen, I might be going away, but I'm going to be sending someone. Now, people were like, who's this someone? It was the Holy Spirit. He was sending the Holy Spirit to come and be our comforter, our, our counselor. And just allow us to be able to still carry on his work, knowing that we still have the Holy Spirit with us, which is an exciting time. Though it was very uncertain, it was a change of times. Because now we're going to go into the part where we start looking at Paul and um, Paul and uh, Peter and John and we understand what they were doing in the world they were going out there they were spreading the love of christ they were spreading the gospel but they could not do it alone so jesus equipped them with the holy spirit now how does this work we, we understand that in acts 2 1 to 13 that like fiery tongues settled on the disciples. But how does this work when we hear fire? Now, fire is a representation of light and life, but it can also be the representation of death, depending how you look at it. We can see fire as destructive, or we can see fire as life-giving. Fire is one of those things that spread rapidly. If we had to burn, if we had to go throw a match in the field, that field will be burnt to a crisp within hours, if not minutes, depending if there's wind or not. And in the same way, we are like this lighter. Without gas, we feel empty. We feel, we feel anxious. We feel, I don't know if I can do this. And that is why Christ comes into our lives and gives us the Holy Spirit so that we can be filled up with the gas, as like the lighter, or filled up with the Spirit, in this case. And when we want to start doing the work for the Lord, whether it be you volunteering at church or um, singing worship, uh, singing in worship, or just doing something with the food pack or anything like that. We ignite. We ignite the fire of Christ within us and we ignite the fire of Christ in others. Hence the spread. We need to, sp we are able to spread the good news more easily. We understand the Holy Spirit works in wonderful ways as well. We, we understand that in the Bible it says um, people were starting to speak in tongues. We get different gifts from the Holy Spirit. Some people get healing. Some people prophesy. Some people can speak in tongues, for example. But we've got so many gifts and they, you can't name them all. But we all have a certain gifts. Maybe you have the gift of leadership. Maybe you were called to lead. Maybe you were called to 
teach or maybe you were called to serve. Each and every single one of these things are gifts that God has given us through the Holy Spirit. It is a gift that Jesus gave before he left. And again, like the lighter, if there's no gas, no light. But if we have the Holy Spirit in us, we can do so much more. So guys, I hope that this lesson is has been simple enough and you understand that you must invite the Holy Spirit into your lives constantly. Just as we always invite Christ into our lives daily. I hope and I pray that you are all well and I, I pray for the matrix that are starting the first week back to school after lockdown. So I do pray that you guys are safe. I pray that you guys are fit and you are healthy during this time. But other than that, guys, enjoy the worship session after this. Go and sing a song. Go and just be present in the moment and again remember without the holy spirit we can't ignite the fire of christ in our lives to the fullest potential i hope that you guys are well and again i hope you have a great sunday enjoy this sunday and uh, just spend time with your family and have an amazing day. Cheers.
step down into darkness Open my eyes, let me see Beauty that made this heart adore you Hope of a life spent with you Here I am to worship Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that You're my God You're all together lovely All together worthy All together wonderful to me So highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created. All for love's sake became poor. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say. Here I am to worship, here I am. 